I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats the 2024 Dutch Moto GP was not the best way for Marc Marquez as a moment of celebration after being inaugurated to join Ducati Lenovo next season. Marc Marquez got minor results in the sprint race session and main race at the 2024 Dutch Moto GP. Marquez also had to be smoked by a rider who started from 11th position, Inia Bastianini. Until finally Marquez had to settle for finishing in 4th position behind Bastianini. Marquez was punished by the race supervisor for an error in tire pressure which was considered too low. As a result, Marquez was given a 16-second penalty and dropped to 10th place in the 2024 Dutch MotoGP results. As for Bastianini, who managed to reach the podium even though he only started from the fourth row. I had the opportunity to finish on the podium and I took it, Bastianini said as reported by Bolasport.com from Speedweek. I'm happy with what the team did. It didn't look like two days ago, said the 26-year-old racer from Remini. And here is the full news. Grazini rider Marc Marquez received a tire pressure penalty after the 2024 Dutch MotoGP race at the Assen circuit, which dropped him from 4th to 10th place. Stewards told the eight-time world champion that he was running lower tire pressure than the parameters suggested by official supplier Michelin and so he received a 16-second penalty. Guy was 0.01 under the limit for one lap. Yes, it's a shame, but rules are rules, Marquez said as quoted by the race. The condition occurred immediately after his contact with Inia Bastianini, Ducati, at turn one and blamed the incident for the penalty. According to Marquez, it means rule changes are needed for the future. The penalty also dropped Franco Morbidelli Pramac to 9th, with Marquez ahead of Jack Miller Red Bull KTM in 11th. Marquez said that while it was embarrassing to receive the penalty, the rules are the rules, the only thing we discussed with the stewards for that reason was the slight delay of the penalty. As you saw in the race, I started in a good way, Marquez said. But suddenly I noticed something strange at the front and I saw the temperature and tire pressure was very low. I then let Diggia Fabio Di Gian Antonio pass, just to check the front pressure. And then I was behind him in the race. Marquez technically explained why that happened. I was controlling well. But what I didn't expect was Inia's contact at the first corner that pushed me out. And when I was out on that lap, I was one second slower. I didn't ride the bike well in turn 3 because of the tires. You don't know what it's going to be like after coming out of the race zone corner and crashing again. It took me 2 laps to come back, and those 2 laps took me out of the minimum limit of 15 laps today. Marquez said the mixed conditions in Sunday's race, which switched between cloudy and sunny, made things difficult. However, he controlled his tire pressure well before the contact from Bastianini. I had no control which made me go wide and come back and the pressure was too low again, said the 31-year-old. He also assessed that Bastianini was forced to drop positions due to the contact, as Marquez was forced off the track. I, I expected honestly a one-position drop penalty for Inia, because if you overtake a rider who makes contact and this rider goes off the track, I expect him to drop one position, Marquez said. Not a big penalty, but one position down and back again. But he didn't get a penalty and I got a penalty because of the tire temperature. The rules are in hand I agree. The only fact that took time for the teams and we talked I was in the direction of the race, because they had the data. They saw that my tire temperature dropped after the contact with Inia. When asked if he believed the stewards should consider contact when deciding on the penalty, Marquez replied. It could be, and they think it could be a consideration for the future. But at the moment rules are rules. And maybe that can change in the future, Marquez said. I think yes, especially if someone pushes you, and you go off the track. With this bike, if you are 1.5 or 2 seconds slower in a lap, the pressure has already dropped by 0.05 seconds. The front tire pressure limit was lowered this season after violations became more frequent towards the end of the 2023 season, following the mid-season implementation of the rule. 
However, the penalties have also increased considerably compared to 2023 although MotoGP at least avoided the original plan to make the offense equal to disqualification. The most high-profile incident this year involved Fabio Quartararo Monster Energy Yamaha missing out on the sprint podium after receiving a penalty at Jerez. However, he wasn't the only one penalized, with Raul Fernandez, Trackhouse Aprilia, Dijon Antonio, Jack Miller, KTM, and Alex Rins, Yamaha all breaking the rules. On the other hand, the 2024 Dutch MotoGP was not the best way for Marc Marquez to celebrate after being inaugurated to join Ducati Lenovo next season. Marc Marquez got minor results in the sprint race session and main race at the 2024 Dutch MotoGP. After failing to finish in the sprint session due to a fall, Alien got another bad luck when he did the race held at the Assen Circuit, Netherlands, Sunday, June 30, 2024. Marquez actually started the race quite well because he managed to secure third place. However, Marquez began to get attacks from several other Ducati riders. The rider from Cervera, Spain was even smoked by Fabio Dij and Antonio, who both used the Desmosetta GP23 motorbike. Marquez also had to be smoked by a rider who started from 11th position, Inia Bastianini. Until finally Marquez had to settle for finishing in 4th position behind Bastianini. Marquez was punished by the race supervisor for an error in tire pressure which was considered too low. As a result, Marquez was given a 16-second penalty and dropped to 10th place in the 2024 Dutch MotoGP results. As for Bastianini, who managed to reach the podium even though he only started from the 4th row. I had the opportunity to finish on the podium and I took it, Bastianini said as reported by Bolasport.com from Speedweek. I'm happy with what the team did. It didn't look like two days ago, said the 26-year-old racer from Rimini. I, I can be satisfied, more than third position is impossible. It was very difficult to start from 11th on the grid, said Bastianini. I was on the inside of the first corner at the start and got stuck. It was also difficult to raise the tire temperature, he said. Furthermore, Bastianini just laughed when asked about the maneuver he did to get rid of Marquez. Bastianini managed to get into the corner by being on the inside to pass Marquez. It wasn't easy, it was complicated, I was at the maximum limit, Bastianini said with a laugh. It was a tough fight with Mark. We had a long duel on the brakes, we released the brakes several times. But then I was on the inside line, Ebastianini said. I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees. My imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh gosh, she's such a tease, big lips, bruised knees. I'm addicted to her, need her touching me, cause she got a bad little